we got him, bro. Hey, CJ. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Tampin. Alright, man, I got mm -hmm. it. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping. Curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on the uh? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work. That he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie. Shut him up, too. Yeah, that's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl. Listen, I'm a big fan. I, I love rap, I, I think. I mean, singing songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. How, how you living? It's great, really? Are you really straight? What? You're gonna question me? Dude, it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the police being a person. It's great. We had a fence called us Louisiana so we would have a place to show our kids. My point is that we yeah, yeah, we need more naked liberty. Exactly. Look, I, I'm no rapper. You know, I dress like that. But I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, blah, 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by Jules the Wind Teeth. You see, my clothing company low down, home of the G says this. I love Rika. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. At the recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He's sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, I was very informative. Big Spoke is doing a lot for the community, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Can you body pop? Come on, Lasno. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I could spit on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it. I will. I got the streets. I got a rap. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold killer. <laughs> Excuse me, gang banging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room are like, you. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. But now, it's about making words rhyme. And I'm going toe to toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. You know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? Do that? You mock-ass bitch, punk 
treat the bus the fool! I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, it is how to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You was a buster fool! Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp! Including dudes, I'll pimp anything, you hear me? No, oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? Uh, no, 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 dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. Well, whatever that is. Dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my scrap. I love your scrap. You're a great guy. Look, Stop I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. But please, don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? <laughs> Only too well. <laughs> that was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man. This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. The Tight End Zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. You're now in the tight end zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects for golf courses. <laughs> Girls in skirt, and we revisit the rivalry, the rivalry that never dies. Liberty City Cox and Beavers going at it again. Love it, loathe it. Buy the jersey, eat the junk food, call it athletics. I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, because someone's going to pin you to the ground and give it up the you know where. <laughs> Winner takes all, including the general warts. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a choice of different sports to play. And there's only one sport. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh, look at me. I'm carrying my bag on a stick and wearing a skirt. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right, go wrong. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Soccer fans? Go home! We don't want you here! <laughs> Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it! Next caller. Hi, Derek, my name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit-faced and going deaf in 110 degrees and watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeah, hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on your car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife left me because of it. And half the cars are sponsored by bald men. Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing teams should be sponsored by things that are family friendly, like hard liquor or cigarettes, not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. Yeah. Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> This ain't Lonely Hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller talking about the biathlon, it's sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympic carry years ago. Kids swinging javelins like ancient Greeks, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. I have a gun. Want to fight? Ah, it's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic frenzy, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Then you bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang! Look, I loved high school football, and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack, from Idlewood in Los Santos. Yeah, how come you don't talk about the best sport of all? Horse racing. 
I mean, tiny, angry people on horse... You don't need it no more. Yeah. Or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. Life isn't about money or your job. It's about having good friends, a nice car.